day. I'm up here in beautiful, well, I'm technically not in Gatlinburg. I'm, I was gonna say Gatlinburg, Tennessee, but we're actually about 30 miles north of Gatlinburg in a little town called Cosby. We're staying at a B&B, &B and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do the landscape photography. I'm up here with Aaron from Aaron's Life. There he is. We got our cameras in the car. We're gonna go see if we can't take a cool picture of something with water in it. There's a stream right out in front here and it's rained all day yesterday, so we have plenty of water. And there's still some color left in the trees. I mean, look. So we should be able to get some decent fall foliage shots. Storm come through last week, knocked most of the leaves off the trees. So our Clemens Dome photo for midday for color, you know, the waves of color running over the mountains is kind of a, yeah, it's shot in the head. But it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good day. We're about to go over here into the Greenbrier and see what we can just dig up and have some fun photographing. Let's go do this. All right, we have come back out here to the Greenbrier where we was last year. In this video, we're gonna go back and revisit a shot we took last year from a large rock right up here. See, we're we jogged down here to the creek so you can see there's a bridge, as you can see, that crosses the creek. And right up the stream here, trot right on down here to it, is a rock that I almost fell off of into the creek last year. And we got a photo upstream of it. We're gonna recreate that photo a year later and see what the difference is. This year I'm running the D810 and I've got a bunch of Nikkor glass I'm gonna operate with. I've changed up my equipment a little. So I'm gonna take the 20 millimeter today. That's the rock. <laughs> we made the photo looking up through here. I've moved after I got that shot and I've got this one up here. This is just a beautiful location. And just like that, we're in Morristown, Tennessee. We thought we'd take a break from the usual drudgery of taking photos of forest critters. Right after we did this to Aaron's circular polarizer, we decided we'd see if we could find a camera shop. We found one here in Morristown. This one. They had all sorts of antique vintage camera gear. Uh, it was, it's just a plethora of stuff. I got a 50 millimeter F14 Nikkor lens, a Nikon circular polarizer that's beautiful, a Canon circular polarizer, which is thinner. Aaron got him a, a, a nice new Canon circular polarizer, so we're back in business. So we're gonna walk around town with a camera a little bit, see if we can't get a few interesting street photos. I found the post office, it's right over there. So we're gonna go over and grab a photo of that too. Come on. Morristown walking down Main Street. It's on an elevated sidewalk. And like all of the buildings have now got a second story entrance to the street side access. It's just, this is just unusual. I ain't never seen anything like it. It gives you some inter interesting perspectives for photography. Like right here, this is a part of the building you could never normally access. Just got that photo. 
<laughs> it's just it's just bizarre. <laughs> it's not bizarre, it's cool he says. <laughs> but you know, to have a complete second story sidewalk system for the main street in the whole town. Who would have thought to do that? I guess these people would have. All right, we just met Travis. This is the this is Travis. He allowed me to take make his portrait. This town is really friendly, unless of course you're taking pictures of the post office, which we found out is a big no-no here. So <laughs> if you so if you ever decide to take a picture of a post office, apparently you need to go in and ask the postmaster permission because we didn't do that and they said it wasn't cool. All right, so that's just a, an aside, but this is a really neat little town. Well, we got us some sunset photos of the mountain range over here. We've been riding along the road. We stopped, got a few pictures of a church. We just, just had a good time in general getting some decent photography along the way going back to the hotel. Later. All right, here we are out in the national park again. We found a beautiful stream. We're shooting photos of it. We're driving like really slowly up the road and every time we see some kind of an opportunity, we just pull over and photograph it. There's virtually nobody here today. There's you know, like four cars. One's parked right up there and one left a while ago. So that leaves two in the whole park other than us. We literally can go out and lay down in the middle of the road and take photos. That's a pretty cool log. Let's go on up the trail, see what else is on this hiking trail. We've been kind of halfway hoping to see a bear. They got all these warnings about bears, but I think they're too skittish and we're making too much racket. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. I just don't have the racket as to worry about seeing a silly bear. <laughs> you wanna know a fun fact? We come to that first bridge, we stopped, we took photos, we got our cameras, we wanted photos on it, behind it, of the bridge. By the third one, we were like, I think I'll set the GoPro up and get a walk across. <laughs> Set your tripod up, or are you going to handheld it? You're the keeper of the tripod, so. <laughs> Keeper of the tripod. That's one beautiful rock. Aaron's gonna take a photo of it. I'm gonna do it with a backpack on it, a coat hanging off of it. All uh, right, you ready? Sure, go for it. What you're looking at is the trunk of a muscadine vine. This has to be some of the biggest muscadine vines I've ever seen in my entire life. The ones down at the house are about the size of the one on that tree right there, which is, you know, inch and a half diameter. This thing is bigger than my arm. It's enormous. It goes all the way to the top of that poplar tree, the very top of it. It's incredible. That's a good thing. <laughs> we're on top of this mountain heading down that last tenth of a mile and we can finally hear the waterfall <laughs> it has been a long 2.1 miles just to tell you the truth oh hey i don't oh there it is hi ah, good we're there Almost ate it.
You wanna say something funny? This is what I brought up here. It is literally stuff completely full of gear I really don't need. <laughs> but I have it just in case, I guess. All right, we're headed back up the tenth of a mile straight up. Needs to have a staircase and handrail section of the trail because we've done our photos. There's a lot of tourists. I got a couple of really interesting photos of some Japanese tourists that came by. They said they were from New Jersey. Really friendly people. The waterfall photos turned out really good to me. Aaron wanted the sun to like reposition itself in the sky for him and it wouldn't. So he was kind of meh. We gotta be getting close to the top. <laughs> Don't you More think? Up. More up. <sighs> the steepest 10th mile known to man. That one right there. How y'all doing? Here I am in two coats, gloves, a toboggan, backpack full of camera equipment, which is acting like a heater, and they're wearing yoga pants. <laughs> Makes me feel woefully overprepared at times. We've done got out the telephoto lens because literally right there is a couple of deer. Look, look that one, that one's done got into bees or something. They're digging up something to eat it. Yeah, let's see if I can, I'm gonna walk sideways down through here see if, they, see if it spokes them. Let's see how close, it, oh, oh, there they go. That's close enough. Apparently about 20 feet to it. <laughs> we got some good photos. That's incredible. They were just grazing in the trail. <laughs> we got our wildlife pictures too. <laughs> Dear Lord, I see the asphalt. I repent. <laughs> we have survived the journey. Well, got to see some deer. Oh, there's some lens flare for you. I found that if the GoPro looks at the sun pretty much any at all, it gives you these tremendous lens flares. So you normally put the cameras back to the sun for vlogging. Oh, wow, the parking lot is completely full of cars now. There was nobody here when we parked. I think there was one other car in the parking lot. 